Today, the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation has noted a significant increase in the population of the Mauritius Sodi on mainland Mauritius, with over 1,000 birds which can be sighted in regions like Alexandra Falls, Petrin, Les Morts, or Pigeonwood. A large part of the funding is used to cover staff costs. The Mauritian Wildlife Foundation needs highly qualified young Mauritians to work sustainably on this project. What we do mainly is monitoring the foodies and giving them supplemental food because we want to keep them on very high numbers so that we can translocate them later to other places. My daily routine would start with feeding the birds then I would have my own breakfast afterwards. And then we'd go out in a field and monitor the different pairs and territories and try and find as many nests as we can and monitor those nests. And when the chicks get old enough, about nine days, 10 days old, then we um, access the nest, bring the chicks when they're still in the nest and then let them fledge by themselves. So the Mauritius bird is a small passerine bird, endemic of Mauritius. So we can only find it in Mauritius. It mainly feeds on insects, so we call them insectivorous. But they also feed a bit on flowers and fruits and anything available to them, um, but mostly endemic species. One thing that I always get from Mauritians is that, why should we save the foodie? I have lots in my garden. What people actually don't realise is that what they have in the garden is not the Mauritius foodie, it's the Mag Madagascar foodie, which is widely spread around Mauritius, whereas the Mauritius foodie is very rare and can only be found in different places like um, endemic forest or around Ile Zigrette. Um, there's a big difference between the two and we need to save the Mauritius Ferdi, which is our species, more than the Mad Madagasi Ferdi, which is everywhere. <laughs> when the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation was planning to create a subpopulation of the Mauritian Ferdi on Ile Zigrette, the Corporate Social Responsibility Programme didn't exist yet. But that didn't prevent HSBC to support that project and give 800,000 rupees in 2005. Their support hasn't stopped since. It's been a success because it's a good example of the kind of philosophy that we like to employ at HSBC, which is about investing for the long term and making a sustainable difference. This opportunity was given to us first around 10 years ago by the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation. Uh, clearly, being able to save uh, critically endangered endemic species is something quite unique. Conservation efforts cannot stop, and the future objectives of the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation are to create other subpopulations of the Mauritian Fodi, work on the genetics, but also downlist the bird from endangered to vulnerable. Today we embark on the next three-year phase of our collaboration with the Mauritius Wildlife Foundation, over that period, we'll take our total investment over the project up to 10 million rupees, and then hopefully we'll be able to achieve a significant milestone of having the species downgraded from endangered to vulnerable. <laughs>